In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make a cozy winter hat with ear flaps and a faux fur lining using my pattern, which is available as a free download on my blog, and I will link to that in the description. This first piece is the plaid outer portion of the hat with pleats at the crown to create the rounded top. The next piece is the bottom portion of the lining or fur side. And this round piece is the lining at the top of the hat and can be made out of fur or another cozy fabric. This piece, like the other two, will be placed on the fold and then cut out. Starting out with the fur lining fabric, fold it in half along the grain line and place the back edge of your bottom lining pattern piece on the fold. Pin down and then cut around it. Careful not to cut the folded side. Once you've cut out your bottom lining, cut a slit along the line shown on your pattern, which will be the front of your ear flap. Now take your outer or plaid fabric, fold it along the grain line, and place the back edge of the outer pattern piece along the fold. Again, pin all around and cut, careful not to cut the folded portion. And just like on the lining piece, cut the slit in front of the ear flap. For the upper part of the lining, I decided to use the plaid fabric instead of the fur. So again, fold on the grain line, pin down, and cut around, not cutting the fold. This is optional, but since the lining of my hat is a little thinner than the bottom, I also cut out a piece of batting to use as interfacing. Now fold your bottom lining piece with the right sides together and stitch down the front using a half inch seam allowance. Now put that aside and baste closely all around the edge of your top lining piece. Then gather that basting stitch until the circumference of your top matches the circumference of the bottom lining. Now with the right sides together, place the top lining inside the bottom lining and begin pinning the edges together, easing your basted stitches as you go so as to distribute the gathers evenly. Stitch all around your pinned edge, removing your pins before stitching your seam. Set your lining piece aside. Take your outer plaid piece and fold it in half with the right sides together. Then using the half inch seam allowance, stitch across the front and the back pleat edge. Now shift the outer piece so that the top edges align as shown and stitch across that opening. Turn the outer piece right side out and place it inside of the lining piece so that the right sides are facing and all the edges are lined up. Pin around the edges. Stitch around the edge of the hat but leave an opening in the back about 3 inches wide. Clip all the curved edges of your seams, careful not to cut into your stitching. Also, trim closely to any corners. Now turn the hat right side out through the opening you left at the back of the hat. Carefully push all the seams out so that you have crisp edges and if you want, go ahead and press these edges, making sure to not melt your fur or fabric. At this point, go ahead and take a hand needle and thread and hand stitch the opening at the back closed using a ladder stitch or whip stitch. Now turn up the front flap of your hat and tack it into place, again sewing by hand. It's a good idea to tack the flap up in three or four areas. Now you can sew your button onto the end of one flap and a button with a shank back like this works best. Again, using your hand needle and thread, Sew the button to the middle end of your flap. Then take a bit of elastic or lace and loop it around like this and sew to the end of the other flap 